Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is John for Scrapping Cane. Today I'm sharing an acrylic stash busting layout with my friend Jessica Michaels. And also there's a little bit of twist because Rediscover Your Stash is also showcasing acrylic to use acrylic on layouts. So there's actually a playlist down below that will show lots of other layouts using acrylic, including Jessica's. And Jessica's is in the description box below. So here I'm showing you the pieces that I plan on using. I went into my pear tree cut file stash. Uh, this was actually a recent purchase of her dinosaur kit. And then the stars are from my stash. Those are also pear tree though. And I plan on using different varieties of sizes and some from each of those packets. The papers I'm showing are close to my heart. These were bought from Stamping Up since Stamping Up bought out close to my heart. Uh, they did purchase some of the packs that they already had ready to go. This is one of them. Um, I don't remember the name of it, but I'm just showing you the papers that I plan on using and the sticker sheet. And I do use quite a few of the stickers, mainly the circles or the circle shapes. <laughs> And then these are Vicky Booten pre-made uh, mixed media backgrounds. And I couldn't decide if I was going to go with green or this really cool star, the one that I have behind this one. Um, I'm not sure what I went to go do, but um, I pulled out the star one also because it matches. It's blue, but in the end, I end up going with the last one I'm going to show, which is black. Um, the star one actually would have been really cool, so I did leave it with this kit in case um, I come up with another layout to do. I might use the star background, but I'm going to go with this black mixed media one that has the splash marks and drip paints. I actually really like it with the dinosaur theme, so it turns out really cool. So here I'm going to mat my photo, and I mat it on four different pattern papers including one of the zip strips. So the very last background is a zip strip and I cut it around um, or cut it into strips to go around the edge. And the little camera here, I inked up the edges of all the stickers actually. And what I do is I stick them in a little bit of baby powder so that they're not sticky anymore. And then I ink them up and use them as basically ephemera. So then you can move them around the page and figure out where you want to place them. So the camera I popped up on play foam since the photo is matted on four pieces of paper. It was kind of on the thicker side. So the play foam needed to go on the part, half of the little scallop circle there that has the camera. And this was just a cute little snapshot of my son who was bugging me to go. I don't remember what we were doing. I think we were waiting somewhere and he's like, can we go now? And he popped his little head up and I just took his picture. So there I placed a couple of the other smaller circles, including the one with the heart. And I mixed up the hearts. Uh, there was two circles. One was green, one was blue, and they had a matching heart in the middle. And I mixed the hearts instead. So I took the blue heart, put it in the green circle, and I will take the green heart and put it in the blue circle. But first, I'm going to go up here to the top left-hand corner of the photo and add a blue scallop circle that has a heart in it. That's also a sticker. And I did pop it up on some play foam on top of the photo. So it's kind of on the thicker side, but it's okay. Um, the... I'm going to place an acrylic heart actually on top of the camera so they're kind of even once the layout is done, but it's okay. Um, this one's a little bit on the thicker side. I try not to go this thick, but every once in a while it's okay. The little smiley face circle I added and then another little smaller like starburst looking circle there. And then up at the top in the left hand corner, I'm going to add the really cool skull that's acrylic um, and the little title piece that says RAR, which um, <laughs> is coming out of the little dinosaur mouth um, when I place it down. And I added 
the other little scallop circle at the top, I'm going to actually add an acrylic leaf covering up love. And um, there was no reason. I just wanted the leaf to be up there. So I went ahead and just covered up love. Uh, but today I'm going to leave. And then this is your dynamite. And I'm going to add his name, Julian, down underneath your dynamite, which um, every once in a while I just add his name to layouts because even though I scrapbook him all the time, in case you were to take, you know, just one or two layouts from a book, you know, it'll have his name on it. Um, I do do journaling every once in a while. And this one actually has journaling for up in the top right hand corner if I choose to put anything on it. But, you know, like I said, once in a while, I do just add his name to layouts. And those were doodlebug letters that I used on the layout. So here I'm coming in with the acrylic stars. These are also from Pear Tree Cut Files. And she is a UK based company, but she's very fast in shipping. And, you know, I really enjoy a lot of her acrylic pieces because she has unique acrylic pieces and different than um, other companies carry. So here, those stars, the black, the dark blue, and the teal down at the bottom by the photo actually have white acrylic stars around them. Um, I can't really see them on screen, but I'm pretty sure you can. And then at the top, I did the opposite. I put white stars inside of the acrylic stars and did teal in the darker blue. I actually didn't have a black one. Um, I colored the one of the white stars black with a Sharpie to make the inside star of the one to the left-hand side of the top of the photo. Sorry, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Um, and then over here, I'm just adding the other little tiny stars, and I want to get a mix of colors. Um, I was trying to get a color opposite of what the big star is. So if I had a, a dark blue star, then I wanted teal, green, and black for the little stars. And I did that in each little section around the layout. And I kind of sped it up just so that I could just put these down. Once again, this is just acrylic stash busting. I have lots of acrylic in my stash still, even though I do layouts monthly with acrylic. But I really enjoy acrylic and I love the look of it on layouts. So there's a little bit of close-ups and I will see you guys in another video tomorrow. Go ahead and join the or follow the playlist and see the other acrylic pieces that other people have used on their layouts. Bye.